Hi and welcome to Neuroscience for Everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about a concept called the Neuron Doctrine. Have you heard about the cell theory somewhere? It states that all biological organisms are made of cells and a cell is the basic unit of life. The nervous system which comprises of brain and spinal cord also has cells called neurons and glia. Neuron is now said to be the basic unit of nervous system. In the past, when the scientists were struggling to find what the nervous system is made of, how did neurons come to be found as the fundamental unit of the brain? Let's explore. In the initial stages of cellular neuroscience, the scientists faced many obstacles to figure out what an individual brain cell looked like. One was its small size of about 0.01 to 0.05 mm in diameter. This created a pause in the scientific world until the compound microscope was used in the mid 17th century to view the cells. Here they faced another obstacle. The brain tissue was not firm enough to make very thin slices required to view them under the microscope. This hurdle was crossed in the early 19th century when the scientists found a way to fix or harden the tissue by immersing it in formaldehyde. Around this time, they also found a way to cut the brain into very thin slices by using a tool called microtome. Even then, they could not view the individual cells because brain tissue slices were not pigmented and had a uniform color and appearance. This was overcome with the introduction of the stains which colored only some parts of the brain tissue and not others. There were two stains which played an important role in the progression of cellular neuroscience. One was the Nissel stain, introduced by Franz Nissel in the late 19th century. He stained the brain tissue in a class of basic dyes. He found that the nucleus of all cells in the brain tissue along with clumps of materials surrounding the nucleus was stained. This staining distinguished between the different brain cells and also helped in the study of brain cytoarchitecture. Hmm, a big word. But cytoarchitecture is nothing but the study of arrangement of cells of nervous system. In 1873, another scientist named Golgi used a stain called Golgi stain to figure out the structure of the neurons and the nervous system. He used potassium dichromate and silver nitrate which had a chrome silver reaction. This stained a small percentage of all the neurons in a dark color. This staining showed that the Nissel stain portion is only a fraction of the whole cell. It was also clear that neuron has two regions. A central region which is the cell body that contains the nucleus and projections of thin tubes from the central region called the neurites. The, these neurites are of two types. One is axon which are found to extend for longer distances and so they must carry output information. The other is dendrites which are found to be shorter and come in contact with many axons. So they must receive the input information. This Golgi stain was used by another scientist Kahal to map the neural circuitry of many regions of the brain. He worked with this stain for over 25 years and came to some conclusions. Here came the controversy. Golgi and Kahal came to opposite conclusions. Interesting, right? Golgi said that neurites of different nerve cells fuse together to form a continuous reticulum. This makes brain an exception to the cell theory. This theory is called reticular theory. However, Kahal concluded that neurites of different nerve cells are not continuous but contiguous. They communicate by contact. Therefore, cell theory applies to brain and neurons as well. This is called the neuron doctrine. The scientific community continued to produce research works that supported neuron doctrine for the next 50 years. The final proof was provided after the discovery of electron microscope and as a conclusion it is now accepted that an individual neuron is the fundamental unit of the nervous system. After hearing all of this for the past few minutes, do you want to know a fun fact? For their work on structure of nervous system, Golgi and Kahal shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1906. However, they remain scientific rivals because of their opposing views. 
I hope the past few minutes have been useful to you. If so, like and share the video. To know more in neuroscience, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.